Marcus Conti reporting. So I want to double down on um, some of what I was saying yesterday. I found that uh, I, I think I came up a little short in analyzing the uh, democratic socialism and what that really means, right? So we saw, as as the as the mainstream media and the billionaire class likes to call Bernie Sanders, Comrade Bernie, the socialist, right? So Bernie Sanders did a, an amazing speech on defining democratic socialism as opposed to the old-fashioned socialism of the Soviets, the communists, the, the uh, authoritarian regimes that once used socialism as a scare tactic. And he also successfully defined it corporate socialism for the rich which is where corporations get you know billions in in kickbacks tax breaks socialism for the rich and rugged individualism for everything else everybody else the 99 percent so that's what that's what uh, uh sanders did but but really really i want to talk about how trump um either either directly or indirectly is creating this um He's, he's setting the stage for demagoguery and people voting against their own interests. Right? Now, I believe that a lot of the elections are fake anyway, but nonetheless, let's assume that they are real, right? or they're manufacturing the consent for the steal. And what is that steal? It's to convince people that, through the use of a word, socialism, scare the shit out of them. Socialism! America, you remember Trump said it? <clears throat> America will never be a socialist country. What does that mean? Right? We already have massive corporate socialism for the wealthy, for the corporations. Now, understand it. Right? If you can't understand it, then, then we're, 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 it's lost hope. Right? Because people want to say, well, Bernie Sanders is a sellout and a cop-out. He's a socialist. He's a... He, he, he can't stand up for himself and all those things, right? And this is not about... It's not about one person, right? Trump wants to make it about Trump. Trump's going to save the world. Sanders is saying, no, I can't save the world, but I could show you how... I could, sh I could point out the problem, and, and together we can, we, can, we can change it, right? But the Democrats... Uh, I, and, and, and Bernie Sanders makes the fundamental flaw in thinking that it's just Republicans. My Republican colleagues, right? He does, he points to the centrist Democrats a little bit, but he's got to lean a little further, a little harder into that, right? Blow the Democrats up. Don't be afraid to blow them up. That's, that's what Bernie is weak in the sense of the people standing on the left and the right are the same. They're all corporatists. There's corporatists, and then there's what he's trying to define as social democrats. That's the 99%. <laughs> the politicians and the corporations are one, the 1%. And all of us are 99%, essentially, is what he's trying to say. But So socialism for the wealthy, 1%, that's, that's subsidies. Oil companies get billions in, in tax breaks. Right? They get billions in, in corporate subsidies. Don't pay a nickel in tax. Pay their workers below par. Forcing the workers to go on federal assistance. Medicaid and, and food stamps and welfare. Rent assistance. One shot deals. Uh, Walmart's notorious for that. You work at Walmart, you're on food stamps. <laughs> you hold a full time job at Walmart. Uh, so... So I, what I'm trying to, I just wanted to find, it, it, it occurred to me this morning when I slept on it, well, if you could call it sleep, I don't really sleep anymore, <laughs> but uh, let me get into a space where I can walk. I'm in, I'm in, again, I'm still, I'm here in, uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, searching for what, some sort of truth, I don't know what that means anymore. Let's try to find a quiet block. It's nice here, it seems nice, the people are friendly. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> they want to ask you how you're doing 25 times. This shit is crazy. How am I doing? How, do you really care how I'm doing? Do you really give a flying rat's ass how I'm doing? Or you just 
It's just, it's just, I don't know, something. In New York, people say, how you doing? You say it once. You say, yeah, I'm doing okay. How you doing? That's the end of that. Uh, so, so, will Trump fool people? Even in saying this, I know. I, I mean, because I have, a, my feelers are, are, are in the comments. I know what people are going to say. Bernie Sanders is a sellout. He, he has no spine. He can't, he, he doesn't, he's, he's a socialist. He wants to give away all free stuff. Uh, what what are, what other things you know what are, what are the other smears? Socialism will never work in our country. You got the Satan jerk off kid, Mr. Fucking Hexenhammer, and the rest of the idiots. Socialism it doesn't work. Look at Venezuela; they eat their dogs, right? That's that's the that's the Fox News ignorant talking point that that uh, is easily debunked if you just look at the evidence, right? Because people don't. This is not a socialist country for people. This is rugged individualism, individual capitalism, right? Where, where the bankers steal 19 of the donuts on the table and then make you fight for that last one donut with the guy next to you. Uh, that's, and, and all the while, they get all the breaks. They don't pay tax. They get government subsidies. They get research money. Uh, but you, what do you get? You get nothing. You get, you get a student loan that you can never pay. And never get out of. That's what you get. You work three jobs and you're free. You think you're, you're free? You work uh, two, three jobs is ex exaggerating. But you work a job and a half, two jobs. And you're still scraping by. And if you're not scraping by, you're, you're working your ass off your whole life. For what? Right? Do you enjoy your work? I mean, you know, do you enjoy it? No, most people don't enjoy, you know, flipping burgers or, or, or working a jackhammer in the middle of the street. They do it because, because that's all that's available, right? Real unemployment in this country is 20%. You're going to buy, the, you know, the, the, the corporate talking point that it's 3.7%. It's, it's not. It's more like 20, 23, 25%. So... So Trump just plays along with that. Blame, and again, you know, the use of demagoguery that in hindsight, when I watched, I watched Bernie Sanders' speech one more time. And I, I realized that what he's trying to say is that, that the, the establishment creates the, creates the illusion that poor people and immigrants are, 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 are taking from them. And they're the villain. Right? With the, in the Nazis, it was the Jews, it was, it was the Poles, it was everybody, every, everybody who wasn't white Anglo-Saxon German, right? But in this country, it's the Mexicans. Build a wall, right? Keep them out. The drugs and the, and the criminals that are flooding into the country. That's demagoguery, right? It's not the, it's not the, the, um, it's not the real reason why, why we're poor, why we live in abject poverty. That's not the real reason. The real reason is the corporate greed, right? That's the real reason. The demagoguery part of it is that the Mexicans are coming and taking our jobs and, <clears throat> and, and drugging our wives and our kids. <clears throat> That's the false part of it, right? Muslim ban, got to keep the Muslims out. They're terrorists. That's demagoguery. That's what Trump, that's, that's Trump's master plan. That's how he got in. Whether he believes it or not isn't really the point. I tend to believe he doesn't believe it because I don't think Trump is a racist. I think Trump is a player, right? To say those things doesn't make you a, a racist at heart. I don't think. I, I don't think so. I just think it's words. It's just wordplay. It's politics. Trump is a player. That's, that's all Trump is. Trump's a, a player at the table who is playing against the people, clearly. Right? Are the elections real? I don't know. But Trump will manufacture that consent as he did the last time for the steal. And it worked. Right? So Trump will fool Americans into voting against their own interests again. I think he will. I think he will unless... Unless the Democrats get behind Sanders and his democratic socialism and stop smearing it and elevate it and educate people on it 
but that that would require going against the corporations right you gotta because because they take the money from the corporations and then they gotta they gotta go against them will the Democrats be able to do that I, I don't know but uh, so <clears throat> here's the other thing so when corporations right large corporations they get billions in tax cuts billions in public subsidies literally billions of dollars like like large tech companies get you know 20 billion dollars 50 billion dollars for what nobody even knows what it's for anymore in the in the, originally it was for the for the tarp money in 2008 when the corporations got bailed out that was socialism they didn't want socialism at all but then when they failed when Goldman Sachs you know you know uh, when AIG owed Goldman Sachs 50 billion dollars they, they cried wolf right they went to the government please socialize us please give us the money help us and 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 the taxpayers opened up their wallet and gave them the money now fuck you we don't need you anymore get in line right but so when you give corporations th that money right those public subsidies the idea is that that will trickle down that will oh shit <laughs> squirrel just fell out of the sky what's up squirrel Uh, literally, I thought something fell. It was a squirrel. He just fell out of the tree. <laughs> He's chasing his buddy. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so so socialism, right? So so those corporations that get that corporate socialism, right? They don't give it back. That's the point, right? Corporate socialism, right? The idea is that it's supposed to trickle down, and everybody's supposed to get a little piece of the pie. Right? Trickle down economics. Reagan. Reagan, the, the great scare, the great scare, scarest. Do you remember when Reagan said that that the that the Russians? You remember he 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 pulled that whole Russian shit too, right? The Red Scare, right? And then he and then he he gave his his buddies, the billionaires, all the breaks in the world. Now it was a nice idea. I mean, trickle down economics. It it was a nice fantasy, but did it work? No, it didn't work, right? So the problem is that. When you give the breaks to corporations, the idea was that that they would reciprocate in the form of trickle-down economics, right, and create jobs and create opportunities for regular people. It failed. The creator of that theory, along with Reagan, was Alan Greenspan, and he said, Alan Greenspan said on the way out that we were wrong, that we underestimated the greed of corporations. Now, this is this is fact. This is not. It's not theory. What I'm, I'm spewing out is not theory. It, it, they're actual, it's factually correct that Reaganomics and, and trickle-down economics doesn't work because instead of putting the money into the, co the economy, the corporations take the money out of the economy and put it in their pocket. Right? They take the money out of the economy and park it. It's explained in terms of velocity of money where... People that have so much money will only spend 5% of it because that's all they need. And the other 95% is parked in various opportunities, in, in you know, opportunities, and in, in tax havens, you know, in the Cayman Islands and uh, uh, Ireland, uh, Panama. Remember Panama? The Panama Papers came out. These are all tax havens, right? So... The billionaire class and the corporations take the money out of the economy and, and don't give it back, thereby making the 99% fight over the crumbs because the money is not hitting the real economy. There's no velocity of money. On the other hand, in a democratic socialist setup where you give to the people, even if it's a direct handout, you've got Andrew Yang saying... Um, Basic minimal, you know, basic uh, basic income for everybody. Give everybody a thousand dollars a month. Is that a stupid idea? Is that a ridiculous idea? No, it's not at all because it would stimulate the economy in ways we've never seen before. It's actually a very smart idea. But the point is that when you give public programs, when you give social programs like like healthcare, like like education, um, uh, public housing, right? Legitimate, you know, legitimate programs to the people. 
and you give them a living wage and make their lives more, you know, livable and, and give them the money, they put the money back into the economy. That's the fundamental difference. In corporate socialism, they take the money out of the economy and tell you, no, 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 they're putting it back in the economy. And in, in, in a democratic socialist society where, where, the, where the government works on behalf of the people, the money that is given to people, they put back into the economy. And why do you say that? Oh, no, no, people start saving again. They'll save a little bit, but mostly if you only have X amount of dollars, rather than going into debt, you tend to spend 90% of your money. Right? If you make 100 grand, you'll spend 90% of your money. Maybe more and go into debt. Right? So, so the velocity of money increases when you give it to people. So the idea that this is, again, factual. This is not, this is not, high, this is not uh, theory. Not working theory at all. Proven. That if you give, if you give money to the, to the people in the form of uh, social programs, right, you then stimulate the economy in ways that we've never seen before. Right? In better ways, right? I had another thought. <laughs> My brain fires in the morning. At night, I'm, I'm useless. <laughs> but... So, so, so anyway, I hope that's helpful. I hope that's clear. So, again, people like Walmart pay, I just wrote a couple of notes. Walmart pays low wages, forcing workers to request federal assistance. Right? That's corporate socialism, right? That's corporate socialism. So, 2020, can we turn this monster around? Is it possible? What do I want out of it? I want people to, to I want people to prosper again. I want to see a cultural revolution. Well, there's always conflict, right? In the, even in the 60s when the hippies were coming up, it ended violently, but for a moment there, there was creativity, there was there was poetry, there was there was music. Yeah, you know, I'm here in, in, in Nashville, Tennessee searching for new music. And and I, and I don't really hear it. You know, CMJ C, CMA was last week. Bon, uh, Bonnaroo, Bonnaroo Festival is happening. I may peek in. Uh, but I don't hear that creative spark. The, 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 the uh, folk queens, the folk artists rising, speaking what I'm speaking, speaking, uh, talking, you know, talking directly to the people. I don't hear it at this, at this point. And that's what I want out of it. Right? Uh, you may want a, you know, a good job and a, <laughs> but in a, in a stimulating economy where people have, <sighs> they could take a sigh of, re, of relief that they're not worried about getting sick and, 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 and going bankrupt or losing a job and losing their health care or, or if they don't work 55 hours this week, they, they're not going to be able to pay the rent. That's the, that's the fundamental problem. That's what oligarchy likes. They like people scrounging and hustling and moving and not questioning their authority uh, so going forward do we do does does and trump represents all of the nasty things i just talked about whether vol, vol, whether knowingly or unknowingly he is the great the, the great duper did i know that when he was elected of course of course i saw him as maybe a wrecking ball maybe he can bring down the corporate the corporate um, structure drains some of the the corporate creeps, the uh, the deep state creeps, the FBI, CIA guys. But he didn't do that, and is not able to do it. In fact, he's doubled down on it by putting people like Pompeo, war cr war criminals, war mongers, Bolton, money grabbers like Steve Mnuchin, making him the the Goldman Sachs guy, making him the the you know king of the treasury. Uh, so. Trump doubled down on all that horror, right? And and there's no sign of turning back. So Trump represents the corporate elite. Trump clearly represents the war machine, the pharmaceutical industrial complex that he has has not done anything to stop. Uh, he's just doubling down on it. So will people 
So, again, the topic of this is, will people vote again because they just love Trump and they just believe that he's their man? It's that simple. I love Trump. He's, uh, he, break, he breaks balls. But the, that's the illusion. The illusion is that he's the perfect candidate. He's the perfect candidate for the corporations. They're going to support him. How? They're going to try to run a shit sandwich, Joe Biden, a, a corporate cent- centrist, and all the things we're talking about, about all the things that I just said in the last 20 minutes, go away. Because Joe Biden likes the, the billionaires. He said it. Oh, no, no. I, rich people, I like the rich people. They're, they're good people. <laughs> It'll all go away. So 2020 is, could be a turning point, as, as in every presidential election. Because the president is the, has the ability to use the, pul- the bully pulpit, the, the, bull, the giant bullhorn, as Trump does so effectively, for his own gain. If that bully pulpit can be used for good, like John F. Kennedy used it, like uh, FDR used it, like Truman used it, to broadcast the message for the people, um, then we have a we have a brighter day. But Trump will does not and never will represent the voice of the people. Bernie Sanders is Bernie Sanders the leader who can do it? I think if placed in the in the presidency, he can use the bully pulpit to just keep saying the same shit he's been saying all all over again. And you know that he's going to pick a cabinet. He's going to surround himself with like-minded people. He's proven that over and over again. You know, <laughs> Cornell West, you know, fucking, you know, all, it put it, you know, surround himself with, with um, democratic socialists and, and get the ball rolling. So is, that a, is it a tragedy? Can, can Bernie Sanders win? Well, no, because of the cheating. Uh, we, that's that's the fundamental problem. That that the the, the 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 system. Why is the system rigged to elevate Trump and 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 turn against a guy like Sanders? Why is that? Because of the things I just told you about. Uh, because of the manifesto I just gave you over the last twenty minutes. Is that the system is designed to elevate the corporate pick, and Trump represents that. And if you put Biden and Trump head to head, it doesn't matter who wins. I mean, with Trump, you get some more laughs. You get he makes a mockery out of the mainstream media, telling you that that the mainstream media is against him personally. <laughs> right? And that fight goes on and on. The Mueller report, the Russia Gate, the Russians did this, and and Mueller is going to lock up this one and. And William Barr is going to come and get a fucking lock everybody up. That, you get you get a four more years of that while the country continues to sink down, and all the profits go into the oligarchs' pockets. Uh, or, or we could turn the page. We could turn the page. Listen to Sanders from from that perspective. Listen to what he's saying in the in that in that speech. Listen to the analysis. Uh, I'll give it. I'll give credit to you know TYT. Actually, did a very good job. Chank Uger and uh, Anna Kasparian did a decent job breaking down what what Sanders was saying. Where they fail, TYT, is that they don't talk about velocity of money. They don't talk about. They say, well, if you give corporations the breaks, uh, th- you know that that's that's good for the economy. But when you give it to people, that's not good for the economy. Make the distinction that when you give money to people, velocity of money is way higher. And that really, really organically stimulates the economy, whereas the other one does not. Corporations take the money out of the economy. People, when you give it to them, they put it back in, causing it to cycle around and, and benefit. That was my only critique of TYT's critique of Sanders. So, so go ahead. Now I've said it. Continue the rage. Socialism will never work. Go hang out with uh, fucking the devil worshiper, Satanist, and and listen to his rhetoric. <laughs> I hate that guy. Fuck you, Satan motherfucker. Is he a Satanist? Who cares? I don't care if he sticks a candle up his ass and you know, it's just it's just irritating to watch him and and um, 
you know, and, and Fox News, of course, you know, the, 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 I, with the exception of, um, there's a few exceptions in there. All right, I'm gone on too long. So Marcus Conti reporting from, uh, from Nashville, Tennessee, early in the morning, walking around aimlessly. It's just like New York for me. Nothing changes. Peace.